meditation is not what you think it is. I'm Dr. Tara Lynn, psychotherapist and brain health pro, and we're going to get into how to effectively meditate. The first thing I want you to know is that meditation is not about clearing your mind from all things. And that's a common misperception that I get a lot. Like I can't meditate because I can't clear my mind. Well, in order to get to the space where you can clear your mind, meditation might be helpful. But until we get there, what meditation really is, is just a singular focus on one thing. So last summer, when I was spending my six weeks of self-discovery down in Florida, I made it a point. The one thing I wanted to do was to learn how to meditate with Buddhist monks. And so I set out to do that. And what I learned was pretty important and also totally against what I thought meditation actually was. So when I first got there, I thought, oh man, this is going to be so difficult and it's not entirely easy, but it certainly wasn't what I thought, like clearing your mind. It was literally just about gaining control of your thoughts and gaining control of your breath. So what I want to do with you here today is walk you through that process so you can create a sustainable meditation practice on your own. The only thing you're going to need to meditate is a place to sit and yourself. So I choose to sit on a yoga pillow, like a bolster pillow. And honestly, I will sit right behind me right here. And I set my timer on my phone for six minutes. And the reason six minutes is kind of a magical number is because it takes six minutes for your body to align with your brain to understand that you're no longer under threat. That's why six minutes is a good place to start. Secondly, our breath. Let's think about our breath in two points. You have the inhale and you have the exhale and you can have total control over your breath. All I want you to do is inhale through your nose like and exhale through your mouth like an embouchure That exhale should be about twice as long as your inhale. And the reason that's important is your exhale lowers your heart rate. So you can't be in fight or flight if your heart rate is lower than 95 beats a minute or so. Your adrenaline won't pump. So the idea of the long, slow exhale is important because it lowers your heart rate. So that's what we're going to be doing. Now, in our mind, to kind of keep our mind focused on that one singular attention, we are going to count each breath in and out as one. So in, out, one. And you'll do the counting in your brain and you'll count breaths up to 10 and then you'll start back over again at one. Now, people ask, what happens if my brain wanders off into thought? That's totally fine. All you do is catch it and bring it back to the tip of your nose. So if your brain is wandering off on your shopping list or something like that, we just gently bring it back to the inhale at the tip of our nose. And if you can't remember what number you were on, because you could bring it back if you remember it was number three, then go number four. But if you can't remember the number, that's fine. Just go back to one. So we're gonna go up to 10, back to one. And some people will tell me, I can't make it past two. That's fine. In the meantime, you've controlled your thoughts the entire time, bringing them back to center, bringing them back to center. So not only is meditation awesome for your nervous system, it also lets you know that you can maintain control of your thoughts. If you have any comments or questions about meditation, please put them in the comments below. Make sure you also click that like and subscribe button for me on YouTube, and we will go from here. Enjoy your new meditation practice. Mm -hmm.